All right, y'all. You guys. Let's have ourselves another fight. I gotta open up this box real quick just to show this impressive black plastic insert. Wow. Feels like I'm at the store. Feels like I'm buying a pack for seven yuan or whatever this costs. I don't know. The tier three ones are five, I think. So I don't know what the tier four ones would be. Eight? Uh, anyway, Ooh, which one are we gonna do today? I got a whole insert to go through here, folks. Let me let me pick this one. Let me pick this one. All right, all right. Here we go. Throw this box to the side, and let's get drawn. Let's get fighting. Let's get some non-shit lighting. Does that do anything? I don't know. All right. Let's draw them like this. Uh, I've also noticed these card packs, the cover itself, the casing, if you will, is like thicker than the Wave 3. It's like more substantial. It's harder to, uh, it's harder to draw um, from, I guess. Harder to cut through. I guess if you open it up, it's not harder to draw from. But if you were to cut the top with scissors, maybe it would be harder to draw from. All right. We've done it. The extra money goes towards the extra fancy plastic casing. All right. <clears throat> uh, team A. Ooh, Team A is going to suffer greatly at the hands of its first team member, Little Baby Sakura. Um, some say she's the worst ninja. She's trash. Um... What is she really going to contribute? I mean, she got out of a she got out of a genjutsu in the chewing exams when uh, all the sandy people, the sandy folks, they made a big genjutsu on everybody in the arena, and a lot of people fell asleep. But Sakura didn't. She was supposed to be a genjutsu prodigy, um, so hopefully her opponents will not be too difficult. Here's her team member. It's a pregnant. <laughs> Uh, Kushina Uzumaki. Now that might not be such a bad thing because pregnant or not, we know Kushina is Kushina is very strong. She has the nine tails in her as well, and she's got all sorts of crazy ceiling moves, and she is going out with the fourth Hokage. She's a strong lady. Okay, this is this is a girl power team. You know we can get behind that. That's great. Great for you guys. Um, Team B. It's gonna be like Itachi or someone. Someone who will instantly win. Oh, okay. It's Sarada in an SR. I don't think we have that. Um, well, this is looking good. This is looking good as, as a matchup. So Team A, Kushina, pregnant Kushina and Sakura. Team B is Sarada. This is Sakura's daughter. Um, oh, I guess she has the Sharon gun or whatever. I mean, like all the Boruto characters, she's she seems bad. Of course, we don't know what she can do. Um, she seems bad, but one bad character deserves another. The last team member, <laughs> is this going to be someone funny? Okay, let's, let's see who it is. Tsunade! Oh, shit! Oh my gosh! It's SP, baby! SP Tsunade! This looks great. Um, also, this is her whole body in this one. Usually SP is just like the torso up, like the portrait. Um, this is Tsunade's whole body. I don't have a Tsunade. This is her in her prime when she is uh, fighting the rain guys, fighting um, the salamander guy with Orochimaru. Holy smoking ball of tits. She's got 125,000 attack and defense. Um, and she's blue. She's got blue power. She's overflowing with chakra. Um, this is cool. I like the sun and the three... Tsunade, Jiraiya, Orochimaru, when they're, like, in their, their ninja clothes, which are, like, they're not quite as old style as, like, the third Hokage and, um, like, Madara, who have the armor. They have, like, panels of armor on, but they aren't quite as modern as, like, the green vest. These are, like, this is, like, an in-between ninja outfit that, uh, Tsunade and her friends were wearing when they were fighting in the, uh, whatever it was, Third War, I guess. Were they in the Third War? I don't remember. They were fighting the Rain Village for some reason. Anyway, SPs are awesome. Uh, oof, this is going to be... It's going to be difficult to decide whether this is the nicest card I have now. I have a Conan SP, who 
was also incredibly nice. Um, wow, so this is a girl power match. That's fun. Um, I mean, I think Tsunade in her prime slightly, you know, may weigh it towards Team B taking it. Um, I mean, Tsunade is just, she's, she's cool. She's cool here. She's cool looking. It's, it's hard to, it's easy to forget, I guess, that Tsunade is, is a tough, cool ninja. Because when she's the Hokage, she just kind of hangs out in the office all day. But uh, she's great. She punches hard. She can summon a big slug. Um, she has her, like, rebirth forehead thing that makes her, like, infinitely regenerate. Um, I don't know. I don't think Team A is going to have a, a solid shot. Maybe Kushina can pull some Nine Tails shenanigans. Um, they they say in the show that the or in the comic that the Nine Tails seal is weak during pregnancy or like during like giving birth, I guess, which is why a certain Uchiha tries to go after the Nine Tails when Kushina has just um, given birth to Naruto. So maybe some Nine Tails shenanigans could come up, but I think Kushina is in a reduced sort of utility, reduced state, not at her full power because she is carrying a child. Sakura is a useless child. Sarada is a useless child, which just means that we've got this mega strong Tsunade summoning a big slug, uh, squishing them all under a big Katsuyu. Is that the name of the slug? People say that Tsunade and maybe Sakura eventually as well should have had a slug sage mode which I tend to agree with. I think Sakura definitely and Tsunade to a lesser extent are a little, like, they don't get as many cool power-ups as, as some of the guys. Like, certainly Naruto's Sage Mode is very cool. And uh, Kabuto gets a Snake Sage Mode. So people are like, well, what's the deal? These girls, they summon slugs. Give them a Slug Sage Mode. And I, 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 am intend, I, t I tend to agree, is what I want to say. Especially at the end when Sakura is teaming up with God Mode Sasuke and God Mode Naruto, and uh, she really could have busted out a Sage Mode at that point, and I think that would have been cool in the the very end of the war arc, um, when things are starting to get a little wacky and power levels are starting to get a bit wacky. And it would have been nice to see Tsunade sort of debut the Sage Mode maybe earlier, and then s to show Sakura with it or something like that. People say Hashirama has a Sage Mode too, the first Hokage, but like no one knows what kind of Sage Mode it is, because you can get it from frogs, but he doesn't summon any frogs. You can get it from snakes, but he doesn't summon any snakes. So people wonder if like, does he have the Slug Sage Mode? Because he's related to um, Tsunade. Alright, so as it turns out, a pretty uh, one-sided fight. And our HR is Sarada again. Holy moly, these HRs are killing me. Um, I'm waiting for a really cool one. I have I have God Naruto twice. I have Sarada, and the first HR that I ever drew was Sakura. Um, on the other hand, I do have like 17 or 16 more HRs to draw from these packs, because there is one in each. So that is good. Pretty good, solid chance of getting a cool character. Um, I guess this is, the, this is a back for Baruto. Burrito. Not Naruto. So the back is different. Um, which is a little weird. Anyway, there she is. Sure, her, her hand is here, and now her hand is there. It's magic. <laughs> I think that's the only thing that changes. The little spark of electricity changes as well, I guess. That's very funny. And where her where her leg is, I guess she like moves side to side, kind of dancing. Alright, hilarious. Um, incredible draw of SP Tsunade. This is a brand new card. SPs are so beautiful. Um, this might have to go to the front of the deck. All right. Well, GG Team A and Team B, and you have yourself a good day.